Conflict can happen at all different levels. It can happen at generational levels. It can happen between siblings. It can happen between husband and wife. It can happen between the family members and the employees. So the, there's a lot of different areas where conflict can grow, can take place. And as always, the best way to handle conflict is to sit down and discuss what the conflict is first. And try to be as open as you possibly can to discuss what the issue is. Uh, without sitting down and discussing an issue, I don't know any other way to resolve conflict. In some of these huge conflicts that you hear about, a lot of times you can sit down and discuss them. If you can get, them, get the family members to that point, if you can get them to the point of being willing to sit down and discuss and listen, which all takes time, because you've got to get them all to that point. So there's smaller meetings a lot of times that take place prior to the family meeting. But if you can get everyone to sit down and discuss an issue, it's unbelievable how quickly it can be resolved when one person hears the other person's side of the story. Because most people make up conflict in their own minds. And, and, um, and I'm not a psychologist. I don't know anything about it. But I do know the conflict a lot of times is made up. Because if you don't know what's going on, for an example, inside of a company, you have a tendency to make up stuff that you feel is going on. And it's usually wrong. So therefore, sitting down here on the other side of the story is, I don't think there's any better way of resolving conflict than doing it that way. Now, how do you resolve family conflict with employees? Well, that's another issue. That's something that you have to do inside the company and make sure that conflict is, once again, looked at, sit down, discuss it, and get the buy-in of the employees to make sure that, that there's an answer to whatever that piece of conflict is.